When I released Satan out of my ass, I had a lot of skeptics saying mucoid plaque isn't real. When you feel it, and you feel the relief of releasing it, you know, you don't have to have these back and forth arguments with freaks. But I do. I entertain myself. I also ordered their liver cleanse, which is what today's video is about. I don't have the full confidence that what I released was stones from my liver, but let's get into it. It was the most intense cleanse I've ever done. So I'm just sharing my honest experience. I paid my own money for these cleanses. I wanted to see what would happen. Many years ago, I did the Andre Moritz, that guy who invented the liver cleanse, basically. I did his cleanse. I had a bunch of apples all week, juicing apples, and then the magnesium, Epsom salts, and then drinking half a cup of olive oil with lemon. And I released some stones and so I picked one out and I was like squishing it and I was like, seems like it's just the olive oil. I never did one again because I just didn't believe that it was real. Like it was too big of a stone. It's like, how would that even be in my liver? I just, who knows, who knows, but I didn't feel any benefit. So I just went many years without ever doing one again. And this one's supposed to be much easier. It's a one day liver cleanse. So I just want to share with you my experience of this versus their colon cleanse, which like changed my life. It comes in this big package, forgive. They talk about forgiveness is your liver's goal in life. If you want to pause and read that stuff, have fun with that. So basically those three top bottles are enzymes. The box in the middle is like 10 packs of enzyme powder. And the A and B bottles are the like olive oil, lemon, and enzyme mix. So basically you're taking enzymes all day to prepare your liver, you're opening ducts, you're dissolving stuff with apple enzymes. And then at the end of the day, the very end, 9.30, you mix the A and B bottles. It's just pure olive oil and lemon and it's very sour. You're supposed to drink it in one go. I managed to do it. You just shake it like crazy and then you drink it down. It was gross, it was not pleasant. It's like drinking oil, but sour tasting. And then you lay down immediately on your right side and send hippie vibes to your liver, just holding it and loving it. What could go wrong? Now what this is supposed to do, don't quote me on any of this, but we have, our liver is clogged up and we wanna get the toxins out safely. And some say that the olive oil when you ingest that much fat at one time, your liver just pushes a bunch of bile out to digest it, but also a bunch of toxins come flowing out because of all the enzymes and the dilation of the vessels. So like it's a purge of the liver and makes you nauseous if you have toxins in your liver. And that's why you're nauseous. And I had many. So I felt fine went to sleep, fell asleep pretty quickly, woke up at 2 a.m. with the most intense nausea ever. And I was like, oh my God, don't throw up, hold it in. The liver's doing its work. If I threw up, I felt like I would waste a lot of money, time, and toxins. So I'm laying in bed for like an hour, just trying not to throw up convincing myself that I won't throw up. And then eventually it was getting so bad, I figured I'm gonna go to the kitchen and take some of the digestive bitters because whenever I'm nauseous, I find taking a couple dropperfuls of that, I'm fine after. So I did that, came out here, I'm on the computer looking, can I throw up on a liver cleanse? Google had nothing for me, how dare you all. I felt better. After taking those digestive bitters, I had a bunch of floodgates out the ass. And I was like, I started to feel better. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna throw up. I'm going back to bed. What I didn't know was I would never sleep again. I laid down there, I was like, okay, we're done, not nauseous. Let's sleep. No, never again did I sleep. That whole night I was laying there till like 6 a.m. I was like, I'm up, I guess. No sleep again. I was so tired the next day. 
That's why this was like so much more intense of a cleanse because I lost sleep. I was nauseous as hell. And then that next day I started flushing again. Now I was getting tired of taking pictures of what came out of my ass. So I saw this log and it had like a bunch of stones in it. I'm like, I don't even care. Just leave me alone with this. But I did like <laughs> play through it with a glove and I was like, those are stone-like. Wow. So like I just separated a couple and I recorded. I was like, okay, I should have showed you the log, but whatever. I'm sorry for denying you that. Now this isn't all I got out. I just took a couple out and I was like flushed the rest. I, they were hard though, like pretty hard, like little rocks. And I was like, could that be just the olive oil? Did I get scammed? All I can really say is I've eaten high fat diets with tons of oil. Back in the restaurant cleanse in Thailand, I would eat those like when I went to Okaju, I had four big salads and I was just slathering the olive oil on each one to get more calories. I've never seen like stones come out. I've been on the carnivore diet, like 80% fat. I've done high fat vegan diets, mostly nuts and seeds. And never have I seen like stones coming out of me on a regular basis, but I've never drunk just a half a cup of oil straight either. Now don't quote me on this, but I think it's not that these stones are necessarily in your liver like that, but as you release the bile and toxins, it forms a stone because of the toxic nature and the coagulation of the oil. Whereas like oil would never do that on its own unless you prepare like this and you flush the liver. I don't know. Like, I can't guarantee it. I can guarantee you, if you buy the colon cleanse through my affiliate links, of course, you're going to get plaque out most likely. I 100% believe in it. This liver thing, I can't guarantee it. I don't know, man. I just ordered another colon cleanse. I did not order another liver. I'm not sure. It's probably beneficial. I don't know. I was super angry for many days after. That's the liver. I could feel it. I was just mad just wanted to stomp things. It's funny, I was watching a live stream of the guy who started the Zen Cleanse company and he was like, don't hold expectations when you're doing the liver cleanse because I was, I didn't see that till after. And I was thinking, I'm gonna purge my liver, my skin's gonna clear up so smooth, I'm gonna be like, yes, that was the key, it was my liver. My skin just got worse. I was angry, constipated. Ah, oh, man. I feel like I need maybe 17 more of those liver cleanses to even touch the surface, but they're pricey. They're not cheap. I just felt so much guaranteed benefit from the colon cleanse. I'm gonna stick with that for now, and then we'll revisit the liver cleanse at another date. But it was hard, too. I. I don't look forward to getting nauseous at 2 a.m. again and not sleeping. Will that happen every time? Probably not. Once you're clean, uh, you're fine. If you're all into liver cleansing, this is probably the easiest cleanse to do. It's pricey, but you don't have to spend a week on apples. You don't need to drink nasty Epsom salt and get weird stomach gurgles. So I'm gonna wait a little bit before I do my colon cleanse again. You don't wanna do them like too quickly. Let yourself recover for a bit. They're pretty intense. It's a lot of fiber, a lot of flushing and enzymes and ripping mucoid plaque off the wall. And it's like, you need to let your colon recover for a bit. So like every couple months, that's my plan. Do one of these Zen cleanses, see what happens. Eventually nothing should come out. It shouldn't be mucoid plaque anymore. You should be get rid of it. And then you eat, maybe do those once or twice a year. If you feel like it, just to check. So cheap, just check it cheap. So I'll let you know what comes out of my ass next time. Hopefully something. I still feel like there's probably more in there, but like most of the pain I had is gone. So like fantastic. I'm looking forward to see if there's more. And then eventually can't wait till I see nothing. And I'm like, oh damn, there's nothing left. I'm clean. I lost $400 for nothing, but it's confirmation that you're clean. So it's worth something. It's worth a thumb up. On the video, I tell you, it's just down right down there.
thumbs down if you're cleaning your liver tonight by eating seven raccoon livers. That's not even a proven way to clean your liver out. Just because like heals like and walnuts look like brains and they're good for your brain doesn't mean that eating raccoon livers is going to purge your livers of pizza crust toxins. It's not even a guaranteed way to do it. There's not much magnesium in the pizza crust. Where, where are the apple enzymes coming from? You're, you're really going to bank on a raccoon finding apples? What are the odds? Do people throw out apples? Mostly just the core. Is that going to entice a raccoon to eat it? Is it going to transfer enough apple enzymes through with the raccoon's liver? It's a lot of gambles that I wouldn't be willing to take. Affiliate links are available to you. Thank you. 5% off if you use my code. I do get a cut. Not going to lie to you. But they're beneficial.